Well, first of all, I just want to thank the entire Nurses Week Planning Committee, Emily, the two Emilys, Becky, Lisa, Claire, Kelly, Lou, Lydia, Christine, and Rachel. This week has been incredible. Every single day has been awesome. Um, I have literally gained at least 15 pounds this week because <laughs> they fed us every day. So I appreciate the hard work. Every year it's better and better, and the turnout uh, for today just proves the amount of work they put into this. So round of applause for all these guys. Okay, so uh, a couple of quotes that I found were fitting for all of us for today. American nurses are the beating heart of our medical system. Does anybody know who said that? It was Barack Obama during his presidency acceptance speech. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> to do what nobody else will do, a say that nobody else can do, in spite of all we go through, that is what it means to be a nurse. Rossi Williams. As a nurse, we have the opportunity to heal the heart, the mind, the soul, and our body of our patients, their families, and ourselves. And that was Maya Angelou. So I think those are all fitting for us here today. So National Nurses Day has become one of the largest workday celebrations in American life. It was Monday, May 6th, and anchors Nurses Week, all culminating in the commemoration of Florence Nightingale's birthday on May 12th. It is a privilege for me to recognize the contributions of the 3.1 million nurses that we have across the United States and to show gratitude to over 800 nurses that live here at Cardinal Glennon. And as I put this together, the most interesting point for me on that was that Stephen and I, our president Stephen, had a bit of an argument back and forth about the number of nurses that actually work at Cardinal Glennon, because he said there is no way you have over 800 nurses at Cardinal Glennon. That would be more than half of the staff that we have at Cardinal Glennon. I said, welcome to my team, Stephen. <laughs> so um, I, I want to recognize each of your defining roles in healthcare and the work that you do to honor the SSM mission every single day. We are the beating heart of Cardinal Glennon. Your work is not easy. You must have compassion, empathy, and dedication to be there in the middle of the night when your patient and family are struggling. You must have patience and courage to fight for what is right in order to provide the optimal care. You must have composure, knowledge, and skill to gain the confidence of a frightened parent who's going through the worst moments of their life. Above all else, you are an advocate, whether as a patient advocate at the bedside or a social advocate promoting equal care for all. That is what you do every day to drive the mission of SSM Health and Cardinal Glennon especially. As we bring Nurses Week to a close, I wanna take a minute to reflect on all of the awesome accomplishments that we've had over the past 10 months that I've been here. And as I told the nursing directors and the team leads when I went through this with, list with them, this is just what I thought of at home one evening as I was just writing it down. So there is so much more that happened and so much more in each of the units as well. Uh, but to highlight, so uh, we stood up and activated a surge plan. The document is beautiful. The work that went into this is beautiful. We stress tested it this winter and it worked uh, pretty well. So to start from scratch from no surge plan to having a very robust plan was a huge accomplishment. The two north improvements. Although I will recognize the two north is not the Taj Mahal, it's a little bit better than it was last year and more improvements to come so everyone doesn't dread getting floated to two north. Um, we decreased our RN vacancy rate at Cardinal Glennon by 75% in 10 months. So when I got here, our vacancy rate was 30 something percent and we're down to about 2%, you guys, which is just incredible. And on top of that, most of the units are currently hired to budget plan. Uh, last report Barb and I actually got yesterday is we have about three or four openings, which means nurses wanna be here, they wanna work here, and now we're retaining nurses, which is a big, huge deal in the times that we're in. So we've created several business plans this year, and to highlight a couple of them, there's a transport team business plan out there that some of you may have heard, heard about a dialysis business plan, an ED plan, and an oncology business plan. These business plans were created and driven by nurses, which is usually not the case. And although I will recognize my friend Ellen, who gives us the data and tells us how to put it, that sells it, 
on a PowerPoint, nurses drove these plans. And that is a different climate for us. And if the transport team business plan goes through this year, this will be one of the biggest lifts for SSM in St. Louis, not just for Cardinal Glennon, which is a big deal for us. And you guys were behind that work. So two new nursing positions were developed and these are not replacements, they're brand new positions. And in a time when everything's being squeezed down, we stood up a trade coordinator position and a director of advanced practice nurses. So big deal to get approval for two brand new positions. The third one that's coming down the pipe is the nurse scientist position. All capital equipment that we put through was approved. Everything we asked for from a nursing perspective has been approved. So the support that we get from our foundation and from SSM Health for the things that we need here is incredible. A complete revamp of the quality program. And all the structures in that that work behind the scene are one thing, but the results that we've had this year are incredible. To date, we've had zero Sentinel events. <laughs> to date, we've had zero serious safety events this year. We've cut our collapse rate down by more than 50% from where we were this year compared to last, which is our biggest focus. Huge, huge strides in the quality space. We've improved patient satisfaction scores across the board with some of our units performing at the 95th percentile, which is where the ED is currently sitting right now, which is, which is incredible. Um, we've expanded child life, music therapy, footprints, and you guys, we're getting a dog. So, <laughs> So we received our state trauma accreditation with zero deficiencies and in fact were cited for many best practices by the state of Missouri. Surgery ACS site visit is scheduled in three weeks. If we gain surgery, ACS verification will be one of six pediatric hospitals that have it. Big deal. Uh, successful joint commission followed by a very robust CMS visit with zero nursing deficiencies across the board. None, not one. Okay, as my boss, a nurse sponsor, well knows, uh, we were huge winners at the St. Louis Nursing Awards, and it was an awesome feeling to be there in the midst of it because as we started to crank up the awards, you know, our table was getting full because we had so many trophies, our three <laughs> tables progressively just kept getting louder and louder and louder till at the end we're all like, whoop, whoop, that's right. <laughs> We tripled the number of poster and podium presentations, much of which were presented at the national stage. That's you guys, that's your work, you presenting, putting us on the map, big deals. We increased our EBP work, and then the biggest thing of all, my heart out to Miss Amber, is we successfully submitted our uh, magnet document. All of this work has been accomplished because of you. I appreciate each of you. We appreciate you. Please take time to celebrate the success for our profession, for SSM, and for Cardinal Glennon, but mostly for the patients, because they get great care because of you guys. Okay, so now I wanna to transition to why we're here. You guys are like, come on, get to the point. <laughs> All right, so we're gathered today for the Nancy Fedak Ross Award Ceremony. So I wanna thank Nancy most of all for coming. We appreciate you. This award is named for Nancy, who years ago began working at Cardinal Glennon on 2 South, which was then a burn unit. Nancy performed at a high level in this challenging position for nearly six years, advancing to assistant head nurse. Huge mistake going into leadership, right? <laughs> While at the Cardinal Glennon, Nancy met and married Dan. Uh, she left our Glennon family, our Don. Don or Dan? Don. Don. Don, sorry. She, it says Dan and Don in two different places. <laughs> so she and Don began theirs, uh, their families adding three exceptional sons. Um, Nancy's love for children was evident during her time here. She has continued to support a variety of children's causes uh, throughout her lifetime. Many nominations. We have this year 37 in total, which Emily told me progressively each year. We're just nominating more and more for this award, which is incredible. Um, and is true example of our staff here. Um, 
and everyone is deserving of the recognition. Each exhibits the traits of exceptional nursing that makes Cardinal Glenn in such a special place for children and their families. We are honored to have Nancy join us uh, to witness the presentation of the awards that deservedly bear her name. Thank you so much.